Thanks for clicking on the video. Bar is open because nothing says hopeful pose like a desperado. So today we'll be reviewing the Desperados original tequila flavored beer. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be looking at the Desperados tequila flavored beer. And this combination, tequila and beer, well, I, I find it very nostalgic because when I was a lot younger, a lot slimmer, huh, just as broke. But you know, when, when in the clubbing days, uh, to get high really, really quickly, we would order two drinks, a shot of tequila and a glass of beer. And you know, you just drop right in, you can call it a time bomb, you can call it a submarine, whichever works for you. Or you just pop that in and finish it in one go. You are ready to club. So the seed and bottle brings back some, you know, nostalgic feelings. That being said, uh, that was a shot of 40% uh, tequila with a glass of beer. This one is 99.4% beer, 0.6% tequila. So it's not going to be a very strong drink. And this Desperados original is retailing at 19 Singapore dollars for three bottles. That makes it over six dollars per bottle. For that, you get a 330 ml bottle with 5.9% alcohol content. It's not a very strong drink, but stronger than most mass-produced beers by 0.9%. And as with all beers, I like to pour my drink a little bit more haphazardly. You're not supposed to be too careful pouring it because you want the foam to escape um, from the beer into the glass. What this allows is it allows you to not get that foam, that, that bloatedness in your stomach. Also, this foam tells you, you know, how long the beer will last um, at the back of your throat. The faster it disappears, like so, you're not going to expect a nice long finish for this beer. In fact, the foam is already almost gone, so it's just going to be a typical lager, a typical macro brewery lager. Color-wise, you saw from the bottle, it's a bit amberish with the yellow. It's hardly yellow, it's more amber than yellow actually. I'm using white lights um, in front of me. So it does come across as a stronger flavored drink. Scent-wise, I can detect a bit of tequila, a very light hint of it, but maybe that's because I was looking out for it. Otherwise, it has a very typical beer smell, a very typical lager smell. It smells like one of those strong beers, you know, those 8% beers. Yeah, this has that smell. Um, but if you're looking for it, you can detect the tequila. But by itself, as a blind tasting, I'm very sure I cannot detect it. But most importantly, of course, taste test. Rather than tequila, I'm tasting citrus. Um, it's a very strong citrus taste the moment it entered my mouth paired with the beer it's actually very pleasant uh, very refreshing on a hot day after that now i'm tasting a bit of tequila a very light hint of the tequila as the beer taste disappears so it's actually surprisingly two-dimensional or, or rather multi-layered in the sense that when it first came in citrus uh, and fizz then the beer taste kind of overtook that and it finished with the tequila taste you know just a hint of it at the back of my mouth all in all this is actually a very enjoyable drink um, the proportions of the lime tequila and beer is actually very well blended together there's nothing overpowering in any way and it ends up being a very smooth drink so at over six dollars a bottle it does sound pricey for a beer but i think this is more like a cocktail than a beer and for that this is definitely worth exploring 
and worth knocking back a few bottles at one time. And to add a footnote, I can actually feel the alcohol creeping in a little. So, you know, despite only having 0.6% tequila, this does pack a decent punch. Yeah, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state so all these reviews are my personal taste preferences and opinions not to be used as an industry standard. But I do want to know what you think of the Desperado's original tequila flavoured beer. Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. And while you're still here, do help me click on the like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Plus the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. Most importantly, happy drinking! <laughs>